my name is Abhishek Jain and this video is in a continuation with the previous one uh, where I just cover a fundamental or the basic of a network component of a docker and in today's video we just gonna see a, we just gonna cover a little bit more insight on the network component of a docker so let's get into the demo part and see how we can play with this network component of a docker so in our last video we saw how we can list down the network and then we understood okay there are three type of you know the uh, network driver the one is the bridge first one is the bridge which is a default driver for docker container meaning if you do not provide you know the network flag while creating your container your container is always going to be running inside the bridge network which is a default network created by docker when you install it then we have a host and none right so let's just see you know uh, how the communication actually happens when we create a container right so for that what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to run these two container for the busy box i'm just giving a name to this container is a default bridge container one and then i'm just gonna open up another terminal and now i'm just gonna run this busy box uh, okay so now we have two busy box container without a network flag so you can see in this command i'm not using a network flag right so it means that these two container container one and container two is going to be reside into the bridge network right so let's see how we can inspect that okay so to inspect we can use docker network inspect and the network name and this is the network name which we have so if we just go by this right so what docker does for us okay so inside this network it's create a subnet subnet is nothing but which actually explains you know the range of our ip addresses right so first two digit if you see this whatever the container you're gonna build or create in under this bridge network your ip is always gonna start with 172.17 and rest of the rest of the two part of ip address will get increased based on which ip is available right and the very first ip which is assigned to the gateway so this is going to be work as a gateway for this particular network now if you come down in this inspect you can see we have two container default bridge <coughs> container one default bridge container two right this has ip this 172.17.02 this has 172.17.03 right and we we covered this part in the last video where we saw that you know if you just get inside this container you can easy, easily connect with this container you can communicate with this container now the next thing let's assume we create a new network and we just give a network name let's say first network and here i am not providing any driver right so what happens is we saw this in the last video as well this network is going to use a bridge as a default driver right and right now we do not have any container running inside this first network okay so we do not have any container but we have a subnet assigned and we have a gateway right and the ip which gonna be start or assigned to the container within this network they will always start with 172.19 and it will start from 172.19.0.2 onwards right so let's create some more container in this first network okay so i'm just going to run this one and i'm just gonna open up another terminal and let me just create another one but difference here you will see this time you know when we created this default bridge container one and two i was not using this network component right which is i'm highlighting on my screen so if you want to create your container and you want that container to be done a specific network all you need is you just need to include this flag network dash dash network equals to the name of the network okay so now we have run two container inside you know the first network okay so let's inspect that okay so if i just get inside the first network okay 
So it says that the network name is first network, driver is bridge, this is my subnet, which is 172.19, gateway is 172.19.0.1. And now we have two container, first network container one and container two. And the container one has this IP, whereas the container two has this IP, right? In a previous video, we, we, we saw this, okay? We can communicate. So one container can communicate with, with another container if it is lying in the same network. But due to some reason, if you want to connect your container from this first network to your default bridge, then how can you do that? So for doing that, Docker PS, we have these four containers running. First two containers are running in a first network, whereas those two containers are running in a two running in a bridge network, right? So here for first for let me just copy this part and put it here. Okay, this is for my okay. So in first network we have this 172.90.0.2. If I just go back here, right? This is my container one, which is actually running in a bridge network. If I just wanted to ping, let's say I wanted to send two packet and the IP for 172.19.0.2. Okay. And similarly, if I just ping minus C and okay, so it's lost, it's not able to connect. Okay, and if I just inspect bridge to see the IP assigned to the container within a bridge network, it's 172.70.03, so it's 17. So let me just try to connect ping C2. I am inside the container of a first network, and here I want to hit this 172.70.02, and this will not be able to communicate with that, right? Now, how can I achieve this communication or how can I establish a communication so from the container from one network can communicate to the different network. Okay, so for doing that, there is a command called docker network connect. Okay, now what you want is before, let me extract the containers which we have and let me just copy this container on a notepad. Okay. So what I want is I want my network connect, okay, and then the first network. And what I want is the container from a bridge network should be able to connect with the first network container, right? So all I need is I need to copy the container name. Let's assume that container two. And if I will just use this command docker network connect first network and then the container name okay and if you inspect first network now then you will see that you have you are having first network container one first network container two now you have a default bridge container two as well so what does it mean now this container knows about this network okay and if these two container like the first network container which is belongs to a first container wants to communicate with this default bridge container then all they need is to hit this 172.19.0.4 this is a new ip assigned to this container so if i just go back here okay if i just hit this 172.19.4 4 Right. You can see now it's able to communicate. But the only difference is this time this container has two IPs basically. So if I just hit this bridge, okay, so this container is still there, right? But now this has been joined that another network with a new IP. So that is how you can establish, you know, the communication with communication amongst the container which are running in a different, different network, right? So that is what I wanted to cover in today's video and thanks for watching this. If you have any feedback or suggestion, please feel free to put that into the comment section and I will try to improve that into the future video. And stay tuned for the next uh, next uh, video on the same network topic because there are some more advanced topics which I wanted to cover for a network before we actually go into the 
part where programmatically we can just control and manage this network component of Docker. So thanks for watching this and as always stay healthy and keep learning our cool things.